want to run Kali Linux alongside Windows 10 without giving up your current setup. In this step-by-step -step guide I'll show you how to dual boot Kali Linux with Windows 10 seamlessly. Let's dive in. Before we start, make sure you have two important files ready on your desktop. The Rufus tool and the Kali Linux ISO file. Don't worry if you don't have them yet, I'll show you exactly where and how to download them. But first, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Open your browser and search Kali.org and open the website or you can simply search Kali Linux download. Now click on download button. Here you need to choose the first option named as Installer Images and download the ISO image. The downloading will be started and save it on your desktop for ease. You can also save in any drive if you don't have space on desktop. Now to download Rufus just type Rufus in search box and open the official website. Scroll down and click on first link to download Rufus. Once you've downloaded both files, open Rufus. Insert a USB drive with at least 8 GB of storage into your computer. Your USB will be selected automatically, if it's not then you can select it manually. Now select the Kali Linux ISO image that we just downloaded, you can simply drag it into the Rufus or click on select button to choose the ISO image. Keep everything as it is, don't change anything. If you want to change the name of USB drive, you can change it as I'm doing. Once it's done, click start to begin the process. Leave this as it is. Click on yes now. Make sure your USB does not have any important file because it will be formatted during this process. Rufus will now make your USB bootable with Kali Linux. This may take a few minutes, so grab a coffee while you wait. I'll see you after it is done. As you can see, the process is done now, click on close. Now we need to create a partition where we will install Kali Linux. As you can see, in my case, I will make a partition from local disk D. It can be any other in your case. Search for disk management and open it. As I showed earlier, I will create the partition from local disk D. Right click on it and click on shrink. Here we need to allocate at least 40 GB of space. If you want to give 40 GB, type 40,000. I'm giving it 60 GB, so I'll type 60,000. Click on shrink. Now you can see 60 GB of unallocated space has been created. Right click on it and select new simple volume. Then just click next, next and finish and the new volume will be created. As you can see the new volume has been created. Now restart the PC and I'll show you the next steps using my mobile phone recording. Once your computer restarts, press the key to access your BIOS or boot menu. This key is usually F2, F10, F12 or ESC depending on your computer model, it's F12 in my case. From the boot menu, select your USB drive using arrow keys to boot into Kali Linux installation. Here you need to click on the first option Graphic Install. Now select your language and click on Continue. Now select your country. Remain this as American English. This process will take time, so be patient. Now enter host name, you can type here any name. Now enter domain name, you can type any name you want, I am adding the previous name. Now add your name here. Now add a username and password. You need to be very attentive here, because if you forget your username or password, you will not be able to log into Kali Linux. Now select your time zone. Here you need to select the manual option. We need to select the volume that we created earlier, like the 60 GB volume I created. 
select delete partition and click on next. So now you can see the volume we created has been deleted and it's showing as free space. Select it and click on continue. Select create new partition and click on continue. Leave this as it is and click continue. Select yes to save the changes we made. This process will take some time, I'll see you after it is done. And if you are curious about the top Linux desktop environments that can completely upgrade your experience, click the i button on the top right corner now. Don't miss out on these amazing recommendations. You will see this screen during the process. You can leave this as it is and click on continue. Now click on yes to install the grub bootloader. So now you need to select the drive where your Windows is installed. In my case it's my 128GB SSD. The grub bootloader will start installing. After the installation is finished, you need to remove the USB from your PC so that it does not restart the installation process. Here you can select the first option to boot into Kali Linux. Wait for a while as it is loading. It will take some time since this is the first time you are installing it. I'll see you after it's done. Once it's done, click on the profile and log in using the password we created earlier. Congratulations, Kali Linux is now successfully installed alongside Windows. You can easily switch between the two operating systems unlocking a whole new level of flexibility and functionality on your machine. To boot Windows you need to click on the power button on the top right corner and click on restart. Now to boot Windows you need to select the window option here, you can select whichever operating system you want to boot. And that's it, you have successfully installed Kali Linux on dual boot with Windows 10. Now you can explore the power of Kali while keeping your Windows setup intact. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone who might need this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.